Our project is Operation STAT. It's a large-scale field training exercise with multiple partners from all levels of the community, civil and military, including many departments here at Towson University. The College of Health Professions is the primary sponsor. We took a look at the literature some years ago, back in 2008, and we discovered that nursing students in particular, although this project meets the needs of many students, uh, only received in their four years of undergraduate study about an hour and a half of training in disaster education, and we were surprised by that finding. So we thought that we would introduce or at least initially expose our students to a large-scale real-world disaster simulation as this was an important theme since Katrina and 9-11 and uh, was an agenda behavior value for, for programs across the country. The involved partners include fire companies, ambulances. We have students from the only high school homeland security management program in the country, eighth graders, seventh and eighth graders who actually play moulage victims and they love, love the experience. We have uh, students from healthcare management, uh, supply chain management, integrated homeland security management, health science department, nursing is of course a core focus, and then the uh, uh, Greek students uh, play uh, victims, sk uh, scripted, moulaged victims, and so we involve hundreds of people in this exercise to get it to work right. Well this model is based on the whole community approach to disaster management. When we say whole community, we mean everybody from the individual, the student, their parents, to the first responders, your fire department, to police, uh, to medical providers, and faculty, everybody. That is the whole approach to community disaster readiness that this model is based upon. And we bring those players to bear in this training exercise. We bring them together where they work together under austere conditions and realistic uh, uh, scenarios to try to solve problems. The goal is to save lives, but the ultimate goal is to expose people to things that in case there were a real emergency, somehow they'd be a little bit better prepared to deal with it. Well, first, don't reinvent the wheel. Uh, benchmark your, your, your goals, and there are other uh, models out there, and look at those and uh, start planning very early. Uh, identify your organizational partners internally and externally and put them together within a team with clear leadership and where you accord accountability and responsibility and uh, you know that's your best chance of getting a very complex mission like this accomplished uh, with effectiveness. Well, every year we, we do something new and we try to develop and build in new partners. So I think we'll just continue that process, build in new partners and over time uh, raise the standards of the training so that it's compliant with various federal and national standards, which really isn't our goal as yet. We're not providing a disaster training for the community partners. Um, they are involved, but we're, our goal is really educational to our students, not just the nursing students, but healthcare management students that may be involved in the logistics and finance, which is part of the incident command system. Uh, our uh, integrated Homeland Security graduate students who are part of the planning, our graduate students in supply chain management, because you've got to manage supplies in a large operation like this. So it meets the needs of many students, and th those needs are quite varied with very different uh, uh, objectives.